I think it was a bit longer, I'm not too sure, the day that I was with Lee then. Well, I'll tell you how long you, you, you've been out since what, September last year, yeah. and I think I remember saying to you, it's only been six months, and I think that six months you must have put about four stone on. Yeah, I got a go pretty heavy dead uh, right away, but um, yeah, I was heavy at the time. I was heavy, <laughs> I was heavy not long ago, I'm still a bit heavy now, it's just that I've, I've lost a bit, so I've been pretty healthy, so I look a bit better. When well, you've been here two months, have you? Yeah, two months, just, well, probably about ten weeks, just over. Um, yeah, I love it. Love uh, it. Well, th this is a bit of out of the blue because you never trained here as an amateur or anything like this. Well, that bored you. So, you know, what was the decision to come down to Ben Lancaster's? Well, I'd always knew of Ben throughout the amateurs. Like, whenever you see Ben doing a corner for a lad, you'd sit back and watch because you knew he was in for a good treat, you know. Mm -hmm. He was in for a good lad and he, an exciting lad as well. So, there's always a style I was intrigued by in the way Ben would coach. He actually did my corner uh, in Guernsey once, what, in my third fight. I, I got hammered to be honest, but he did do my corner. <laughs> and um, I don't know, I just seen all the lads, they were just all always fighting. Just. I don't know, just. I just seemed to think, I, I thought, like, what I seen, I liked. So, yeah. when I had the decision of where I was going to go next, I come here and. I think I come here t twice last year and just like I knew straight away I wanted to stay here and then I, I, Does it help with the training here because I mean it's pretty intense the training here I was just watching you out doing a bit of a circuit there and you know you all get pushed out don't you? Well that's, that's why everything about it is why I fell in love with boxing like when I first went into an amateur gym when I was younger it was hard bags and we're all pushing each other on we're all grind, like smashing it and then it was and our philosophy is like solid technique, work hard, but then you think about your boxing, defence and all, you know, just all the little things a lot of people forget about. And like yeah. when I come here, Ben it just and the other coaches, Dave and Stuart, just constantly on you about it and hard work, this is philosophy. So I was watching you on the bag. That's the best thing for me. Watching you before uh, on the bag and you still got beautiful uh, hand speed. Yeah, really yeah. nice fast jab, sharp back hand. Yeah, well. You kind of never lose that hand speed, though. hopefully it'll, it'll only get faster now. <laughs> and now, so you've been here two months, Yeah. you're hoping to return to the ring perhaps uh, early in the new year? Yeah, um, I get, oh, I'm not going to go heavy or anything, like you'll see me now and normally over Christmas I'd, you'll interview me again, I'm a lot bigger, but yeah. see me now, you'll interview me after Christmas and I'll be a lot slimmer, so that I'm gonna, it'll be different this time. And yeah, I'm just been looking to ready to jump straight into a fight in the in the new year. Get a date for early Feb, mid March, depending on when the shows are. And I'm just I'm just gonna get out there and you know, do it. Because I mean, you're still unbeaten as a pro, aren't you? I mean, yeah. You, Twelve and with one draw. Yeah, 12, one draw. Well, yeah, 35, 12, one, 12, draw and one. Mm -hmm. So. It's like I'm one of those guys that I've just like never pushed on to the next step, and I don't know really know what. Well, you been. one step. I remember coming down to when you were down at Arnie's. I was coming to chat to you, and you were about to fight uh, Matthew Ryan, weren't you, yeah. for the English title? Yeah. yeah. Um, so it proves you getting to that level whereby you know you were one one or two steps away from breaking into that top ten. Exactly. Yeah, and, and I think consistency was my biggest downfall. But you know, we're working with these lads and and the coaches, like the, have you seen all of that? They're, all, no, they're, yeah. always, they're always fighting, they're always in shape. It's one to one coaching here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and, and they're always ready to go as well, the lads. So, yeah. training with these and being around these lads, and they'll spur me on to always be in the gym, always be on top of my weight, and I'm ready to go, and all pushing each other on. So, it's great to be a part of it. Yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to it. I enjoyed your last time out. Was it Willie Warburton on one of our shows? It was a little yeah. late rounder, wasn't it? Yeah, Willie Warburton, yeah, yeah. It was a good night that night, but. I don't know, there's a lot of things that I could have worked on, but you know, I got the win and that was the main thing. <clears throat> but you're going to see a completely different type of boxing this time. I mean, I'm not going to start winning and brawling or anything like that. I mean, I think that is, people will think that because I'm here and... Do you know something? On, on both of the shows, when you fought on our shows, 
That's why you picked up your two stoppages. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. And, uh, there's going to be a lot more stoppages to come, but not through throwing big daft shots around, just through being a Breaking lot more, people down. Yeah, a lot more solid and stuff. And Ben teaches me to keep it long, you to jab and a lot of movement as well. He doesn't, like, the way he teaches is all differently. Like, well, Danny wants him to walk people down and keep moving, but you don't get it though, because he's always going on about defence yeah. as well. He's, not, he's a very good defensive coach, Ben. A lot of people might see the fighters if they don't really know him. Oh, he's, he's dead, the offence is all for out offence, but it's not. It's, it's all about defence first. And and then, and then he's a very good offensive coach as well. So see, that's what he teaches. Well back, mate. <laughs> you're, uh, you're gagging to get back in no, there. No, I am. And every day I work with Ben, Dave and, and, and Stuart as well, I just feel a lot better. And like, I know, I know I'm, I'm, when you know that and you can see you're going in the right direction, you can feel yourself going in the right direction, the sky's the limit, so I'm just... Well, you, you're still only young, are you? Because, I mean, you turned over at a ridiculously young age, were you 18 years old? Yeah, I, I was 18, and then, um, I, I am a pro just after I turned 19, so... Yeah. So what are you now, 23? Just turned 24, last All right. <laughs> so, so hopefully, it's a return of the Mac. Yeah, well, I'm a man now, so I'm ready to progress into the next stage of my career and smash it. Right, well, I'm looking forward to that, and hopefully that's going to be... Early next year, yeah. and uh, we'll be hopefully chatting to you next time I speak to you. You might be 13 and uh, 13 and one for us. Yeah, definitely. Once Jeez, you don't like talking about it, <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, I've got over it now. I'll get it done. <laughs> All right, mate. Take care, mate. See you later. Bye.